on the outer edge of the chrome grill trim here, there is a plastic uh, mounting tab right in there. We want to separate that. You can try a plastic trim tool or maybe just tugging on the top of the grill gently here and we'll work our way across the front. Across the bottom, there are three metal tabs that go into the body itself. So you can go ahead and pull the grill from that. Go ahead and set this aside. Using a 10 millimeter socket with extension, we'll go ahead and remove this bolt right here and this one right here. And go ahead and lift the lamp out. It's gonna give you access to the bulbs on the back side. Now you can go ahead and remove the connector from the bulb, just gently lifting those tabs. Pop that off and do the same for the one beside it. Install our connector, press it until it clicks, repeat the same for the other. There's two tabs on the bottom of the lamp one right here, one on the other side, and we're going to insert it into the holes or notches in the body. Now I want to line up the pins across the back, one there and one right here. And we'll install our bolts. I'm going to go ahead and snug these down. Now go ahead and repeat for the other side. On the back side of these lamps, there is an adjuster screw here to adjust your vertical up and down. You want to go ahead and turn this using a Phillips head screwdriver uh, clockwise or counterclockwise to get your light beam in the correct pattern. Insert our three metal lock tabs into the body itself. Gently push in. Now we're going to line up our metal tab here and then one right up above it. Press those in. We'll press in our lock tabs across the top. And then we'll install our metal clips on this side. Line those up and press them in. Our four lock tabs ended up being broken when we removed the grill. If you're able to remove yours without breaking them, go ahead and reinstall them. If yours broke, you can go ahead and acquire them from your local dealer. This is going to be a general tutorial on how to aim your brand new TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, so looking at your brand new TRQ headlamp assembly, you're going to see where your low beam is, and you'll see a little dot right in the center, and that is the access point, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to mark that with an erasable marker, just so it's easier to see. Next, what we need to do is measure from the level ground up to this point and take note of that measurement. Now we're just going to pull the car up to our wall. On our vehicle, we remember that the measurement was 28 inches for our access point. Your vehicle may be different, but that's where I'm going to put this tape, just above that 28 inches. We'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so let's just back the vehicle up, straight back, 25 feet from the wall. 
And now that we moved our vehicle 25 feet back from the wall, we're going to start with our measurement here. That's where the headlamp center is. We're going to go down four inches on the driver's side. On the passenger side, we have our line here. What we need to do is go down two inches. To adjust the driver's side, we're going to cover our passenger side headlamp. If you look at the back side of your headlamp assembly, you're going to see something that looks like this. This is the adjustment. Some of these headlight assemblies have one, two, or even more of them, but you should at least have one. This is how we're going to adjust the headlight beam. Now we're going to lower the top part of the beam down to just below this line. When you turn the adjustment to the right, it brings the beam up, and if you turn it to the left, it'll bring the headlight beam down. And this is this way on most vehicles. Let's continue on to doing the passenger side. All right, we properly aligned our TRQ headlamp assemblies. Okay, and on the quality TRQ headlamps for a pickup truck, the procedure is going to be the same. You're going to find your center dot, mark it, and then you'll measure from the level ground up to your dot. So once your headlamps are properly adjusted, it'll be time to adjust your fog lamps. You'll notice on the driver's side, the focal point is all the way at the bottom right now. I would like to bring it up so it meets up with approximately the bottom of the focal point of the headlight. Some fog lamps have an adjuster, others don't. The ones that do have an adjuster, you would just turn the adjustment to the left or to the right to adjust the beam up and down to where it needs to be. Now with your TRQ headlamps and fog lamps properly aligned, you can drive down the road safely.